Hi, I'm Chad with Move For A Guitar. This lesson is from our series, How To Read Music For A Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to count basic rhythms. First off, if you like all the diagrams for this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, How To Read Music For A Guitar. But I am working on it right now as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching this lesson. If it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that will allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 14 from our series, How to Read Music for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So another really important part about reading music and just playing music in general is how to count rhythm. And in this lesson, we're going to do everything in 4-4 time because it's common time. It's what you're going to run into most, especially if you're a beginner. And it's really important to get down counting in 4-4 time first before you try to dive into more difficult time signatures. But we'll have other lessons that dive into that down the road. But for now, we're just going to focus on 4-4 time. So in this lesson, we're going to cover how to count all the note values that we've talked about so far, which are the whole note, the half note, the quarter note, the eighth note, and the sixteenth note. So starting off with what's on your screen, which is just a simple way to write 4-4 four, four time a rhythm out, which is four quarter notes per measure, and that in 4-4 four, four time the quarter note is a beat, so you have four quarter notes per measure. That's really easy. You would just count right along with those quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. So if you set your metronome, I just set it to 80 beats per minute. You can count along with that. It's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. So when you're playing a piece of music, if that was the pulse of the song, that's what you'd be counting. That's where your foot would be tapping, which is really important. You tap with the beat. Especially when you're talking about 4-4 four, four time, you count, you tap right with those quarter note beats. And being able to tap your foot is really important to be able to do to keep a good time and keep a good pulse. And then if you're playing this on your guitar or any instrument, right with that metronome beep, and right with your foot tap, that's right where you play the note. That's what's written on the screen because every one of these notes is the beat because this is just a really simple example right here. But I'll show you some more complicated examples coming up in this lesson. Now another thing that's crucial about this is that when you're counting those quarter note beats, one, two, three, four, you would count those whether you were playing them or not. It's really important to count those and always be aware of where they are because that's the pulse of the song. And right now I'm talking about counting out loud because it's a good exercise. It's really important if you've never done it before to get used to doing that. Eventually you'll just count in your head and then over time there'll be rhythms that just come really natural to you because you're used to them and you won't even have to necessarily count like that. It'll just be intuitive. You'll just be able to play it. But for starting out you definitely want to count and when you're practicing it's really good practice to count out loud. So that's quarter notes. Those are all on the beat so that's super easy. If we were to look at the next note value. I'll just go back to the whole note now. The whole note takes up four quarter notes. So in 4-4 four, four time you'd play one whole note per bar. So that means if you were to play what's on your screen right now, you would hit that first note on the one and then count the rest two, three, four. Count one. Right as you count one, you'd play that note in the next bar two, three, four, and you'd hold that whole note through that whole time. So you'd play it on the one, hold it through the two, three, and the four. So if I was to clap this, if I was to set my metronome back at 80 beats per minute, I'm just going to clap where you would play the note and then count along with it so it'd sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So right where I was clapping is where you would be playing that. And you would hold it out, let it sustain through that whole bar each time. And then for a half note, the same thing, but now you have two notes per measure. With what's written on your screen right now, you would play on the one and the three and hold it out. So it sounded like this if I was to clap and play along. One, two, three, four. 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 So every clap I was doing, that's where you would play those notes. But you would still count the one, two, three, four every time. And that's right where your foot would be tapping. It's really important to be able to tap your foot along with this. And we already did quarter notes, so now if we go to eighth notes, the way you count eighth notes, since it's actually subdividing the quarter note now, 
you have two eighth notes per quarter note, you have to add in another phrase. So the way you count an eighth note is one and two and three and four and. So still your beats are on the one, two, three, four, but now you have an extra note in between. So the way you count that is with ands. And this time I'll just count along with it because it's not necessary to clap because you would be playing on every count that I'm giving. So it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So write what I counted is what you would play with what's written on your screen, but you would only tap your foot on the one, two, three, four, because that's still your beat. So it's important to be able to tap your foot along with that beat so you always keep track of where the beat is. And then 16th notes, are subdividing each quarter note into four. So now you have to add three extra phrases and what those are are E and a. Uh. So for one whole beat, this right here is one whole beat. That's where one quarter note would be. You would count one E and a, uh, and then two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. And again, you're just tapping your foot right along with the one, two, three, four. That's your quarter note beat. But you'd be playing along with every thing that I say. So the one E and a, uh, those are all notes that you'd play along with, with what's written on your screen right now. So if I was to count this, again, I'm not going to clap because you would just play with everything I say, the one E and a, two E and a, et cetera. It would sound like this if I keep it at the same tempo. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So again, you just tap your foot with the one, two, three, fours. Those are your beat, but then you play the rest of these notes, which is what I just counted out. And that's how you would count 16th notes. And that's super simple. Obviously, if you just have a measure filled with the same note value, it's really easy to do. But then when you start mixing note values, it becomes tougher. So if we were to look at this right here, which we've seen before, your quarter note beat is still one, two, three, four because this is a half note so that's two quarter notes and then one two this is another half note so that's two quarter notes three this is two eighth notes so that equals one quarter notes four one two this is four sixteenth notes so that equals one quarter note three four one and this is a whole note so obviously that's four quarter notes two three four so that beat is still a constant pulse going through here, even though you're subdividing that beat up, meaning you're splitting it up. You're breaking, for example, right here, you're breaking one quarter note beat up into two eighth notes, or you're breaking one quarter note beat up into four sixteenth notes. And the way you would count this would look like this. You're always counting the one, two, three, four. Those are your beat. You always count that in four, four time. But anytime you play an extra note, like right here, you're playing an extra eighth note, you would count the and. Then again, you're just counting the quarter note beats, but here you're playing extra notes, so you would count the E and a, uh, and then you're back to quarter note beats, and then of course for a whole note, you just count through the whole thing. So always count the quarter note beats, and then count anything that's extra that you're playing. And again, be sure that you're tapping your foot along with the one, two, three, four. So if I was to clap this out, which I'll clap it just like it's supposed to be played, so all my claps are just like the notes you're playing, I'll clap and count it out so you can hear what it would sound like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, e, and a three, four. One, two, three, four. So those claps that I did were the notes that you would actually play on your instrument. And then same thing for rests as well. If a rest is on the beat, the quarter note beat, you count it. A lot of people like to count it quieter just to make sure that they know it's a rest and that they're not playing. Every time it lands on a quarter note beat, you need to count it to keep that beat, the one, two, three, four, but obviously you're not playing it. So a lot of people will put it in parentheses to represent that you're counting that quieter or that it's on a rest, not on a note that you actually play. And then typically you're not going to count any rest that's not on a beat. So what I mean by that is this quarter note's on a beat. It's a quarter note beat. This quarter note rest is right on the beat. It's the next quarter note. Then you have a beat here and a beat here. It's a half note, just like it was before. Again, a half note, which is two beats. 
two eighth notes, which is one beat, quarter note, which is just a beat. And then this rest is right on the first quarter note beat of this measure. So it's important to count that. Then you have this, the start of your next beat, but then it's E and then a 16th note rest and then a, uh, and then here's your next beat and then your next beat. And then this is a whole measure of rest, which is just going right along one, two, three, four. So no matter if there's a rest or not, or how it's subdivided, that pulse goes through constantly and it's always going to land in the same spot. So no matter what's happening, whether you're playing a note or resting, you count those one, two, three, four, because you always count your beat and you want to keep track of that. If you play an extra note, you count that as well. So we've subdivided this one quarter note into two eighth notes. So we're going to count that extra eighth note with the and. And then if a rest is not on a beat, you can see this is right between these two beats. You don't typically count that because it's really important to be able to know where your quarter note beat is at all times. And that's where you're going to tap your foot like I keep saying because it's so important. And eventually that's just going to be intuitive and you're just going to be able to count, tap your foot and you're not going to have to count as much in your head even. It'll just feel really natural to you, but you have to lock this down early on and get used to doing this. So if I was to count this out and clap right where you would play those notes, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, e, a three, four, one, two, three, four. So right where I clapped, those are the notes that you would play and that's how you would count it. So if this seems really complicated to you, we'll get more into it. I'm going to have a whole series about rhythm and counting and all that. It's just important to actually start getting the concept now, but it is something that just takes time and practice and really working on it to get it down and to make it just feel natural to you. So if this seems overwhelming to you, don't worry about it. Just keep moving forward through these lessons and eventually over time, this will become really simple to you if you work on it and focus on it. So that's an explanation of how to count. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to talk about key signatures and be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there and be sure to subscribe because we had at least one new lesson every day.